Hello, hello, my friends. Guys, we're back again with Two and a Half Men, guys. We're very successful. As it was a new show on the page. You guys really responded so well. I'm glad we took that direction. Because most, most of them, actually, we decided that together, you know. Because we ran a poll on the Patreon. Guys, if you don't sign to the Patreon, show your boy some support, some love. You know what I mean? Because on the Patreon, you go one week ahead of time. You know what I mean? Go one week ahead of time. If you like, guys, I can't wait for the next one. I'm just, 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 I, I even lost it. I even lost the words. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in, guys. I'm, I thank you so much with your comments. I'll highlight some of the stuff here. Ta -ta 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 Ta -da. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Um, I love how we're growing. We're growing so naturally organic. You know what I mean? So thanks to you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyways, three and four, guys. I cannot wait. Let's get down to business, yo. Let's get down. To Let me put my headphone on. Let me put my headphone on. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got bugs. <laughs> if you got bugs, yeah. What? You actually thought I was a hit? Mom, come see my room. I'll be right there. Hello, uh, Charlie. Okay. What are you doing here? If you must know, I'm here to help Jake set up his room so he feels like nothing's really? changed. Nothing's changed? You don't think I'll notice that his dad's living here and his mom's dating chicks? <laughs> and then a little louder, Jake might not have heard you. For the record, I'm not dating anyone, and I threw your brother out because he was sucking the life out of me. Oh! I Could do, you say that a little louder? I do not appreciate women like this, guys. I don't appreciate them at all. I don't suppose that's a Rubenesque 19-year-old girl? <laughs> Porky's his pet guinea pig. Vermin into my house? <laughs> Uncle Charlie, check him out. Isn't he awesome? Uh, nah, it's getting fat, bro. Little black thing? Over eight? No, no, no. I used to have that when I was getting awesome. older. When I was getting older? When I was young. I don't want he might have an ear infection. Oh, Mom. Oh no, it's okay, pal. Uh, we can go to Disneyland. We'll have a great weekend. We can, we can play miniature golf. Alan, relax. You're starting to sound like a tampon commercial. <laughs> Jake, why don't you go put Porky in your room? Huh? Okay. Okay. Alan, I'm very concerned. He's just a child. I don't know if he can deal with it. Okay, you didn't think about that. Incredible kid. I was talking about you. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about you, Charlie. <laughs> oh my days, man. Is that Rosa? Is it Rosa? Put that down. Put it up. Charlie? Put the window down, man. Put that thing down. Wait, she's out oh riding a bitch. She's here to babysit. I thought we'd go out and have a drink. That's good. You want me to leave my son with the whack job who's been stalking you since your one night stand? Yep. Yep, we remember that. Okay, Alan. Charlie and I talked, and I understand that we're just friends, but it is not okay for me to sneak into his house and lick all his silverware. <laughs> By timing. We can't go out tonight. We're gonna have well, to really no. go to Disneyland. Yeah. I thought maybe you'd want to come with me. Did you ask him? I'm thrilled about having one small rodent in my house. Why would I drive 50 miles to see their kingdom? <laughs> that's a f that's fair. That's actually fair, though. Maybe some other time, Rose. And it's problem. I'm gonna take this seat cushion, okay? Yeah, okay. She's nuts. Knock yourself out. Why does she want your seat cushion? I don't know why she brought it. I don't know why she's taking it. <laughs> she bought it? <laughs> okay, then. I'll, I'll see you later. Right, you're, you're still going out? Yeah. Yeah, why? I thought you wanted us to spend some time together. Outside. Okay. That's a that's a really cool. <laughs> okay. What do you think? In 10, 15 minutes? Go. Thanks. He's <laughs> we'll still bloody go, bro. Oh no, well, Jake, he doesn't like it. Good morning, Uncle Charlie. Oh, that's, oh, that's... Jake, rule number one, Uncle Charlie does not like to start his day with a squealing creature in his face. Grandma's here, she wants you to come down. I'm listening. <laughs> rule number one, 
<laughs> Force attorneys in Los Angeles. I've oh, made wow. appointments for you with each of them. She's a control freak. Attorneys, I'm not getting a divorce. You are getting a divorce, I'm sure mate. You don't. He still doesn't get it, does he? The point is. If you consult with all the good lawyers, it's a conflict of interest for them to represent Judith. She'll be stuck with some ambulance chasing clown from Van Nuys who'll fold like an origami swan. Wow. I may busted her hump on this, Alan. Thank you. <laughs> and I love you, you might as well say that. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Wow. Returned any of my calls this week. It's all I can do to not imagine you lying dead in a ditch somewhere. Right back at you, Mom. <laughs> Classic. I love that. I like that. What did you want to talk about? Too late. I'm not speaking to you. Oh, wow. Would you like to know why? No. No, I trust your judgment. Because when your brother's marriage ended, yes, I know, Alan, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Alan, blah, 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 indeed. You chose to move in here. Your coldness towards your mother became more than just the behavior of an ungrateful son. Oh. Obstacle to my spending quality time with my beloved grandchild. Are you coming to Disney now with us, Grandma? Darling, Grandma doesn't do Anaheim. You better hit the road, try to beat the traffic. Thanks for dropping by, Mom. Come on, let's go, Jake. Uh, race you to the car. Come on. Bye, Bradley. Bye. Are you staying? <laughs> Wait for me, I'm going. <laughs> and if you above, above from being with her, man. Imagine having a mother like that, though. Jeez. Come on, boy. Heel, heel, heel. Stay. Now stay. No. Um, hey, is Nick, it uh, invisible dog? You wanna take him? Whatever. Come on, Lucas. Get ready for bed. I'll be right in to tuck you in. I'd like to know how they did that. I think it's a green screen. I think that's a green screen, huh? I had a good time. Of course. Oh, really? Which part did you like best? The equatorial heat, the endless lines, or the large German woman that threw up on me in the teacup? <laughs> in the teacup? It have gone smoother, but... Tomorrow's gonna make up for it. What was? Get us all laid tomorrow. It's not gonna make up. <laughs> hey, sleepyhead, you're just in time. Your pancakes are almost ready. I'm not hungry. What's the matter? You gotta fuel up that engine. Got a big day plan. My ear hurts. Oh yeah. Oh. They forgot about that. A little warm. Probably another ear infection. Um. Okay. Okay. New plan. We I wanna go home. Oh. You, uh, you are home. I know, but the... All right. This is, is my... I went through this. Um, after my separation, my son, my firstborn, it was like this. Like, if you're homesick, like, I feel like, wow, you are home. But what he actually meant to say, or what, what was it meant anyway on the day, on those times anyway, like, me and his mom, together and him you know what i mean he, this is why i mean on my, uh, you see in the first video where i said about how kids um get this homesick and they get affected more than adults and we try to do things to make them better but we forget our decisions like it or not will affect them you know what i mean let's go back to this okay uh i understand that you know when it hurts though it does hurt. He, uh, he needs his mom it right? fathers well, it did hurt me. <laughs> but I understood. I may not be the one to ask. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll call your mom and, uh, and tell her we're on our way. All right, it's just you and me now. You sick or are you just faking it to get I'm out of the fun-filled afternoon? I'm really sick. Just checking. Because I was going to fake it. Fasted, filled with spiders, flies, or gnats. All on <laughs> hey, how's the jingle coming? The lyrics are fine. The music work. Oh, he'll be okay. Uh, I stayed over at the house a little while. We watched some movies, a couple of sandwiches, and uh, Judith suggested I take mine to go. Well, she started my car and threw my sandwich in the back seat. Hey, that is rough. Uh, I'm afraid I got some more bad news for you. Oh no! I forgot to bring Porky back. He's dead. Nothing's bringing Porky back. <laughs> Porky's dead? Buddy, buddy, buddy. That's all, folks. Oh. Oh, God. It's okay. 
We can we can get Jake another guinea pig. This is his fourth Porky in three years. He goes through them faster than shoes. <laughs> what about you? This is about my life. Wow. Everything is going to hell. Okay, well, I, I, I don't don't cry. We can still be friends. <laughs> really, Charlie? You are brothers. One thing I know to say when someone cries around here. <laughs> to women. <laughs> to the women. <laughs> I am so sorry, Porky. You just kept running around in your little cage trying to make everybody happy. Wait, what? What do you get? Death. You get dead. <laughs> you get dead? <laughs> do know the pig can't hear you. <laughs> Don't you get it? I am the pig. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm just asking because your, your reaction doesn't seem very healthy to me. See a counseling, man. Why don't we toss Porky in the ocean and go get bombed? <laughs> How could you? How could you? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're good, there. <laughs> okay, that actually went. That's nice. Toss him in the ocean. Very clever. <laughs> I wanted to go home. Mm. That broke my heart. Yeah, I can't relate that. So, I can't relate to that. I mean, my kid is sick, and I can't even be with him. Yeah. I'm a failure as a father. I'm a failure as a husband. You didn't that fail when loves you. Yeah. Second of all, just because your wife decides she doesn't like sleeping with men, doesn't mean you failed as a husband. It's not your fault. You're right. This is Judith's fault. Oh, She's no. the one who, who breached our marriage contract asunder. And, 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 and I let her make decisions that should have been in my dominion. People are gonna do whatever they're gonna do. That is a fact, yeah. The only thing a man can control is his own actions. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Your own action? <laughs> well, he's got a point. He actually has a good point. This isn't our car. <laughs> Where to? Home. Where's home? Sherman Oak. We don't live in Sherman Oaks. I do. I am a Sherman Oaksian, and and I am going home for us to reclaim my home. Oh no! Oh, that's a very bad. Yeah, idea. It's a bad idea. I'll tell you what's a good idea: chili cheese fries and a large root beer. Girls. <laughs> no. I am going home to my wife to impose my dominion over her. You cut. Oh god. Lesbians love that. <laughs> Brother! Sherman Oaks! Thank you, driver. You've been most kind. It didn't even say a goddamn word, bro. So back to Malibu? No, let's give it a second. <laughs> no. They put chocolate pudding in tubes now? No, I did not. Oh, all right. My nephew eats them. They're surprisingly good. <laughs> you know, that's an interesting sibling dynamic you've got going with your brother there. You get that I'm loaded, right? <laughs> drive, drive! <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? Yeah, Arlen. She chased me out of the house with a, with a golf club. <laughs> Taking up golf already. <laughs> What was it, like a six iron? What difference does it make? <laughs> want to be able to tell the story accurately? <laughs> With details. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Sometimes good to love, man. You could ask Dad for advice. Dad for marriage counseling? Alan, our father committed suicide to get away from our mother. No. Suicide? He died of food poisoning. I maintain that he knew the fish was bad, but he kept eating it anyway. <laughs> Your mother sounds like a real piece of work. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have no idea, my friend. I dipped him in sissy sauce <laughs> and turned him into the people pleasing control for EQC. <sighs> made him so scared of intimacy yeah. that, that he has just this endless stream of gorgeous girls running in and out of his life. Damn her. <laughs> the baby. You know, many psychologists agree. Until the core maternal relationship is resolved, most men are doomed to repeat dysfunctional childhood patterns. Hey man, that's true. That's true, guys. Cab, Doctor Phil. <laughs> really? 
he's not wrong. I mean, at some point, we have to stand up to her. Oh. So I'm serious, come on, right now, let's let's confront her. You, you with me? Come on. God. Oh my God. I can't believe it. You really are afraid of mom. Yeah, it is, you know. I thought you were so cool, but you're just a big clucking chicken. Oh, wow. Ouch. Okay, okay, that's it. We have a new destination. At an address? Just go east on sunset until you reach the gates of hell. I can't wait to see her face. Uh, she's gonna freak. Your mom probably sleeping by now, mate. You ready? Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> Charlie's funny, kid. <laughs> wait, how come they did it at the same time, though? your sons <laughs> oh wow <laughs> dear god hold on I'll what exactly are we going to say to her now you ask this was your safari we're here to resolve the core maternal thing wait aha. i'll go ask the cabbie <laughs> <laughs> <Take a stand. laughs> somebody better be dead Porky's dead. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you completely screwed up our lives. I'm sorry? Well, that's good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, take this, we'll take the apology. <laughs> oh, my day. She's back. Well, first she took the cushion. Oh, God. Close the drapes. <laughs> you are sorry, dude. Release an indemnification form. What? I don't think so. Well, you and your brother signed it. Oh, no. <laughs> Alan, wake up. <laughs> Taxi cab confessions? If you've got bugs, if you've got hands. If you've got bugs and slides and flugs and things that crawl. Is that Beethoven? <laughs> I don't I don't even know how my wife is gonna be a lesbian. Oral sex. From you, idiot. Let's go to the next one. Charlie. Who's that? Honey. Wake up. Good morning. You lied to me, Charlie. Said it was just going to be the two of us. Ah. Berta, things change. Goodbye, Charlie. Don't leave me, Berta. I love you. Who is that woman? Talking to men only. I'm in, I'm out. There are no complications. Uh, Berta, I hate to bring this up again, but you just, you cannot put the peanut butter in the refrigerator. It gets hard. And on a related subject, the peanut butter stains on Jake's shirts really require an enzyme pre-soak. <laughs> yeah. You two will be very happy together. But who's gonna take care of me? Who's gonna do the laundry and the shopping and the cleaning and all the other stuff? Scrubbing bubble there. Scrubbing <laughs> <laughs> bubble. Charlie, why is Berta leaving? Why? Doesn't matter, Jake. What matters is she's gone. <laughs> and we're all gonna die. <laughs> she left before she made the coffee. We'll make our own coffee. So now we just wait? Yeah. Yeah. Alan, this goes beyond coffee. Berta's been with me forever. She does everything. Like a wife that leaves before you wake up and doesn't mind if you sleep around. <laughs> Is that the coffee? No. I've been trying to figure out a way to repay you for letting me and Jake stay here. Why don't I take over the housework? But I can handle that too. And look. Oh, that was quick. No, uh-uh. <laughs> what is Berta's? It's her coffee. I just, I just... <laughs> tasted, I don't know, <sighs> Christmassy. <laughs> <laughs> it means like Christmas. I mean, nutmeg, cinnamon, powdered reindeer. Reindeer. Drank it, it felt like Christmas morning and anything was possible. Oh, half and half. <laughs> and I'll just read my paper. Uh oh. Ooh. Where's my paper? Oh, it's usually right here on the table. <laughs> got up, Berta started the coffee and got you your paper. Well, I don't know the mechanics of it, but yeah. <laughs> 
not off to a very good start. Want a glass of peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with that, bro. Something's wrong with that, bro. <laughs> My guy's struggling in that. Yeah. And I can see you too. That's not what he meant, man. And Berta never cleaned when I was in the room. She was like invisible. I'm Dude. Oh my day, she's still there. I see you. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> not you, that girl that's been stalking me. Rose? Rose, that's her name. Oh, there you are. What are you doing sneaking up on me like that? <laughs> you the one who came to my house. Honey, night together. And it was very nice, but What I... is your favorite part? Gee, I'd have to say, finding out you live just two doors down. It's all I can do not to chew through that house in the middle. But see, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. So maybe you should find someone who can give you the attention you... Yeah. ...deserve. Require. <laughs> Whatever suit your boat, man. Saying we should see other people. Yes, oh, that's my. exactly what I'm saying. You have so much love to give and somewhere else... Can take it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want it. One guy. He sounds perfect. <laughs> don't want to hear about it. Just get out. He works at Jamba Juice. He always gives me a free wheatgrass shooter and chuckles when I gag. Then ask him out. Forward, don't you think? No, come on. Women ask guys out all the time. What they don't do is handcuff themselves to the refrigerator when he says it's time to go home. <laughs> That's where you and I went off the track, isn't it? <laughs> Many more. Just Andy's the future. Good luck, Andy. <laughs> David to Rose to Andy. <laughs> Not even to Rose, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. Alan, what did you do to my piano? Just get it back. Yeah, well, I'm I'm sitting here trying to write a jingle about a chocolate bar, and my piano smells like lemons. But they don't make chocolate pledge. Okay, maybe I'm not making myself clear. Mm -hmm. Like any fruit you want, but my piano needs to smell piano -y. There you go. So don't wipe it. Don't do it. Don't clean it. Well, that's not going to help me now, is it? You know what, Charlie? Nope. You are a child. You are a, a, a big, high maintenance child. I am not a child. Where are you going? Well, if I can't write my chocolate song, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> yeah, she took a nap. Charlie. Oh, gosh. No. I'm doing a load of whites. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let him sleep, Alan. Ah. Oh, my days, Alan. He'll kick oh. you. Oh. Charlie? What? You kicked me in your sleep. Who said I was asleep? <laughs> you are impossible. Hey, don't blame me. I tried to make it work. Uh, excuse me? Berta quit at 9 o'clock. It's now 2.30. The try. Hey, you're the one who made Berta quit. Uh, I simply raised the bar of quality housework, and she insisted on limboing under it. Live without her, you big baby. I will go apologize and get her back. Great. So what is she? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, Charlie. Okay. What's her last name? How do you pay her, bro? Entire life depends on this woman, and you know nothing about her. Wait. Nope. She took a bus. Stand correct. Oh, uh, after she works here in the morning, she cleans some rock star's house. Okay, what rock star? Where? Oh, my days. They're from Aerosmith, 4456 Malibu Canyon Road. Thank you. Hey, who needs Google when you have it, huh? When you have Rosa. Pick up Jake for dinner with her parents. Now, I should be back by then. But you need to make sure that he is dressed and ready to go. No, but I am trying desperately to reconcile with my wife. So I don't want to do anything that's going to tick her off. So you telling me it's no problem does not reassure me. Take my sock. I want to show you a trick. <laughs> Remember the kick? I'll go get Berta. You make sure Jake is ready. Hi. Oh. 
Hello. There are security cameras out front, so come up from the back and bring some dog treats in case the Rottweilers are out. Again, thank, thank you. So she's aware of the house. Andy out, and he said yes. Andy. Me to ask the future, out. remember? Yeah. I just don't know what to wear. I love this one, but it still smells like pepper spray. Where are you, Where you going? going? To roll around naked on your bed. Don't sleep with her, bro. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna try on the dress, silly. Are you your girlfriend? No, no. she's just... It's complicated. What the hell happened to you? You're supposed to be ready, oh, but... This is complicated. It's in your hair, man. My back chain broke. Can you fix it? I'll do you I'm a piano up. player. What do you think? I'm sorry, pal, but you need a shower. My bike's still broken. Oh, you God. made it worse. What are you talking about? Now you got a unicycle. I'm so worried he's not gonna like me. Just go out, have a great time, and don't come on too strong. Me? Too strong? What do you mean? Oh, really? We having this conversation? Speaking from my own experience, there's nothing wrong with asking a guy for a blood test, but actually trying to take the blood yourself is a little... <laughs> I see. Where are you going? Where are you going now? You got me thinking this dress comes on too strong. So I'm gonna put on something a little less rawr and a little more ooh. Jake! Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't the kid, character like Jake, they get on, get, they get on my nerves that like, people uh, kids like that. Imagine having that like, kid like that. Oh, nah, rah, 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 rah. Hey Berta, it's me, the uh, the scrubbing bubble. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. And, and and find a way to work together out of a a, a mutual love for Charlie. Love. For love. <laughs> is, I'm, I'm going through a, it's a, a really dub. tough it's time. Right now. My marriage is collapsing. My my business is slow. My, my little boy is being dragged back and forth fr from his mother's house to to, to Malibu. And ran off with my daughter's parole officer, and I clean rich people's toilets for a living. It's a competition. <laughs> <laughs> you started it. Jake, been in there for a while. How's it going? I don't think he wants to go. It's too plain. What are you doing? Washing my bike chain. It's real dirty. <laughs> We're gonna need a new chain. Hello, Charlie's house. May I help you? Oh, hi, Alan. It's Rose. I got in. How'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Did you talk to Berta? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm here with her now. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're just applying the uh, finishing touches. She's really a delight. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make sure Jake is ready when Judith gets there. Relax. Everything's under control. I gotta go. You like this dress better? Hang on, Rose. The kid's running around on the deck in his underwear. Oh, sure. When I do it, you just ignore me. What are you doing? Air drying. This towel, bro. You wash it? You didn't say to wash my hair. Your hair. Okay. Down to rinse. Good. That's good. Thank you. Jake, rinse. If you won't come back. Will you at least tell me how you made the damn coffee Christmassy? Yeah, Charlie said your coffee tastes Christmassy. Oh, cinnamon. I said cinnamon. <sighs> oh. No. <laughs> of course you do. You're a maid and I'm an ass. Even. Of course. And you're an ass. <laughs> you you should just say. <laughs> well, why don't you sit down? I'm a chiropractor. Okay. No funny business. Really? Really better? Really? Looks like you wash your hair instead of mine. <laughs> this is what Charlie wanted kids for. These clothes look stupid. You're ten. No one cares. You're choking me. Trust me. You'll know when I'm choking you. <laughs> I'm the woman. Dude, I'm right on the edge. <laughs> Don't push me. Anyone else? Charlie? You look great, Rose. I don't think I can go through with this. What? Well, I'm gonna call Andy and cancel. No. Oh. Now listen to me, you're a wonderful woman and this guy Andy is gonna love you. Thanks, but you're saying that just to get me out of here. That's true. Not just. No goodbyes. Turn around, walk away. Wait, no goodbye. You oh, my bathroom. Goes off. Sometimes I miss. I give up. 
You are a child, Jake. <laughs> he took it to himself. Don't dress. Wash. Don't wash. I don't care. You're on your own. Uh oh. What? <laughs> oh God, that feels so good. Hey, Berta! I can't find my. I sure I'll lose that job. If you're gonna do a guy in the laundry room, put a scarf on the doorknob or something. <laughs> Oh, that's a, a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Is Jake ready? Where's Jake? He quit. He quit. I don't know. You don't know? My, my wife just pulled in behind me. You said you'd have him ready. Can't be done. I mean, it can't be done. I'm not strong enough. Not everyone carries kids, you know. Greater than mine. Drunk and stay out of his way. Please tell me he's ready. My parents are driving me nuts. Hi, Mom. Oh, don't you look handsome. I took my tie. Well, you don't need a tie. Grow up, Charlie. <laughs> that he beat you. He did. And now he's just screwing with me. I'm with Berta. Well, it wasn't easy, but I did it. Do my laundry or get my groceries. And I have to give her a lower back adjustment twice a week. And Steven Tyler thinks I'm doing her. But, but she is coming back. Yes, Charlie, she is coming back. Right now. <laughs> Are, Are you crying? crying? Are you crying? Charlie's crying. <laughs> it's been a very emotional day. Here you go, buddy. Drink your vodka. <laughs> if just a vodka, that's a lot of vodka. vodka. Still in a tie, Charlie? Still in a guy that time? Rose. A great Rose, I swear! He stood me up. Oh. What? I don't know what I did wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Then why did he stand me up? Idiot. He doesn't get what a truly rare person you are. I wish Randy could see what you see. Oh, wait, well? Dinner. Really? Yeah, sure. Why not? Charlie, you gotta change. Hey, uh, I thought you said his name was Andy. Randy. Oh, no, she, I didn't. she's playing him. You just, that, that's why exactly what you did. Close the door. Man, 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 man. Guys, I'm, I'm, as a father, I'm, I think I'm just getting triggered by the boy Jake. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, what is it? No, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm joking. But it's like, bro. You know, being a father or being a parent in, in, it's just like, it's just the toughest job ever. I love it. I love it. But when you're a kid like Jake, like there's no concentration, there's no focus. It's like, what, what do you want me to do? What, do you, <laughs> what I'm saying is, kids like Jake, they will not survive my house. Know what I mean? Oh, they will have to make a choice. Know what I mean? She's like, bro, come on now. Focus. Obviously, saying focus to a child, it can be a lot, or it's not fair sometimes, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you for choosing this, goddamn you guys. But in the meantime, do take it, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.